Hello friends, welcome to my channel Financial in Independence. Today we are going to discuss about one of the very important product for our financial independence that is called term insurance. So in this uh, entire pandemic period, we have seen how fragile the life is and how unpredictable it is. So at this particular point of time, you must have realized how crucial term insurance is. If not, I will be covering in my next video what are the advantages of having a term insurance. And also you can Google it to understand why term insurance is the best investment you can make for your family members when you are not alone. So this is the, the entire tagline which we since our childhood we are listening about LIC. Jeevan ke saath bhi, jeevan ke baad bhi. So term insurance is all about that. Now, when we decide for term insurance, the very critical thing which people are often confused is what is the premium period we should go for? If you go to the website of any in term insurance selling company, you will find there are multiple products and what the typical period they offer is like this uh, one time, five year, 10 years, 60 years or entire policy duration. So it is very important to understand how these impact your real wealth the money you are holding in your pocket and for this to understand we will understanding two very critical terms which is inflation rate and future value inflation rate talks about what is the worth of your current money in the next year or 10 years down the line and future value tells the same uh, what is the impact of inflation on your current value and what is the value of your say 100 rupees of today in the next year so taking an example of 100 rupees today in the year 2022 and inflation rate of 7% in 2023 with inflation rate of 7% this 100 rupees will be worth only of 93 rupees. This is how impactful inflation is. Another way you can see a term insurance cover of 1 crore in 2022 will be only worth of 10,72,000 by the time you reach 2055 so this is the impact of inflation now moving towards why inflation and future value is important while deciding the premium paying period so here we can see the companies offering different periods so for a cover of one crore and person's age 27 years with this rider of critical illness and waiver of premium which is very important and i will cover it in my next video so the for the first year premium or the premium for the entire duration will be same this is different from health insurance here the premium remains constant throughout your policy period so for annually one time will cost two lakh twenty eight thousand nine twenty seven and similarly for till the age of 60 years which is your retirement age i have assumed will fifteen thousand sixty five now moving uh covering where inflation is impacting and this must inform this sheet is completely editable so you can adjust the inflation rate here and it will dramatically adjust the calculation why i have taken seven percent i have taken based on this historical data and for the last decade it was almost 6.8 percent or we can say 6.8% for the last two decades was 6% for last three decades 7.2 and last four decades which is very dreading it's 7.76 it will really impact your money so let's see and if you make a one time payment you will be making a premium payment of 2,28,927 and at uh, present value the amount remains same if you pay in five years the sum of all your premiums will be 2,82,000. For 10 years, the sum of all premiums will be 3,380,000. Till the age of retirement, it will be 4,97,000. And pay over 40 years, it will be 6,3,032. So you must be wondering, if I pay for 60 years, and this is a trick used by insurance agent. So they will say, if you pay till 60, you will be paying 4,97,000. But if you make a one-time payment of paying 5 years, it is only 2,28,000, 2,82,000. But here is the impact or the value I am trying to add through my video. And this 4,97,000 after 33 years, like 2,055, is only 2,5,585 after adjusting for inflation. Similarly, this 6 lakh is only 2,2,000. 
but this five years payment you will be paying two lakh forty eight thousand adjusting for inflation for the five years here it is shown so you have seen what is the future value lowest of these comes here in the 60 years or 45 years and i will strongly suggest never go for five years because you are ultimately paying highest of all these premium after adjusting for inflation although you will see the current value is low and this is where all the trick of the insurance agents come you have to be aware of that and push them if they saying the pay in five years and you will be free from any liabilities don't go for that always prefer this plan of 33 years 45 years because ultimately you are paying less amount another thing is that if you pay for five years what each year you are paying each year you're paying 56,569 rupees why give an insurance company this much money when you can use this money in better ways and there is a very this is the term of opportunity cost you can invest this 56000 in uh, fds which give a return of 5% like you will be saving an additional uh, around i will say 40000 rupees 40000 invest in fd at 5% you will getting a better return Invest in stocks, you will be getting around 15 to 20 percent. Mutual fund, you will be getting around 10 percent. NSC, 6.8 percent, very safe investment. So each year you will be saving around 45,000 rupees and earning interest on that and ultimately paying a less value. So this is the all the game of inflation. Another advantage of paying till the age of 60 years is that you are spreading the risk. Like you take a policy uh, today and paid a premium of 15,065 rupees. Now, say next year or say after five years, something happens to you and you die. So how much money you have paid? You have paid around 75,000 rupees only to them. But if you have opted for the five years plan, you have paid 2,82,000 rupees. And see, 75,000 and 2,82,000. So this around 2,10,000 rupees would have certainly helped your family in your absence. So why make an insurance company richer when you can get richer by yourself investing the same amount of money in other avenues as well as saving that money in some bank saving account or FD. So here we have to understand never go for 5 year plan or 10 year plan. Always go for 60 years plan. Why I would not suggest for 45 years? Because at 60 you will must have retired now from where you will manage the premium paying resource so 14,000 every year you have to manage when you don't have any other income stream and here the difference is only 3,000 so you can certainly go for a 60 years till the you are earning and there's inflow of money and here's the formula I have used future value is called present value divided by 1 plus interest rate powered by the number of years so you can c it is c11 which is the current premium divided by one plus inflation rate and for the first year you drag it till five you will calculate your future value of 56,000. at the end of five years this will be 43,000. so we have understood how these things are if you have any question you can please drop me a comment and i will respond to you thank you i will be sharing this excel sheet in the comment section you can download and try yourself various permutation and combination and at last i will be request to you this is my first video so please pardon me for any mistakes and please like share and subscribe my channel i will be coming up with the how to decide the different riders in a premium term insurance policy thank you and have a nice day